Hello all my Kinvians and welcome to a new episode of Snacking. Today is an episode that I've been meaning to do for a while because it was actually requested by someone months ago. But, and this is also something I have tried before, but today I am going to be trying a bounty bar. Now this is something that was actually sent to me um, previously in a nice big collection of sweets from Britain, uh, or the UK, I guess, to be more specific. I don't know. Regardless. Uh, I, so I have tried this before, but the point of today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, is to compare the Bounty Bar to America's Almond Joys. And not only the Almond Joys, but I'm taking it a step further with a Mounds Bar. Now the major difference here being that uh, obviously uh, Almond Joy has an almond on it. I don't believe Bounty does. Yeah, I don't think it actually has any almonds. But also, Mounds has dark chocolate as opposed to just regular milk chocolate. So, we'll have a bit of an interesting little taste here. Um, but what I will do is I'll go ahead and get into the Bounty Bars. Now, one thing I will say, and I'm hoping this doesn't mean a lot, but I, I bought this relatively recently, before, uh, or, uh, before Christmas, but I bought it about a month ago, and it says, Best Before 25th of February 2018. Now, I'm... <laughs> Unless this just looks horrid, I'm going to assume that it's still okay. Yes, yes, the bar still <laughs> looks very much fine, so thank goodness for that. Uh... Wait a second. Oh, okay, yeah, it does say Bounty. For a second there, I thought it said Almond Joy on the bottom. But yeah, it does have the Bounty stamp on the bottom there. I'm not sure if that'll even show properly. But, again, taste test of the Bounty Bar into the Almond Joys and then into the Mounds. So, let's begin. Now, one thing I really like there is a definitely a nice amount of coconut in here. It's like it feels substantial. It doesn't feel like I'm just biting into uh, coconut flavored nougat, which a lot of candy bars here in the U.S. that you tend to taste that have uh, coconut in them tend to be kind of that way, like the coconut is more or less pureed. But they've definitely held to the structure of the coconut with this, so I definitely do like that. But now, let's just try the Almond Joy. And to begin with, I'll obviously take a bite of just uh, the part without any almonds, which, actually, I thought that they only had, like, one almond in the middle. So I got a double lump here. <laughs> but yeah, let's see how the Almond Joy compares to the Bounty. Now, there definitely is a there's a definite difference in taste here. The consistency overall of the coconut is not bad, but there definitely is a difference, as you can see, between the two bars here. Like, here we have the Almond Joy, and here we have the Bounty Bar. So, already there's a substantial difference in between the amount of coconut they actually give you. Uh, so, Bounty Bar has the, um, the advantage with that. But, I will try a bite real quick with an almond in it. Now, truth be told, the Almond Joy is actually quite good. This is one of the better tasting American candy bars, in my opinion. Uh, mostly because they don't stray too far from the quality of coconut, at least in my opinion. Um, although they do use less, the flavor of the coconut is really nice. Now, trying between these two, there's a definite difference between the taste of the chocolate. The American chocolate has... And I don't know how to describe it, but the chocolate almost has a little bit more of a sharpness to it. Not necessarily richness, but there, there's just something different about the taste. Whereas with the Bounty Bar, the chocolate is just creamy and chocolatey. So I don't know how to describe it properly, but it is something that, if I pay attention, is probably fairly consistent in a lot of American chocolates. Um, Especially those that come from... Does this come from Nestle? I think it comes from Nestle. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Uh, yep, no clue. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Peter Paul? Hershey, Hershey, it comes from Hershey. So yeah, um, it, it, there's just something different about the chocolate, just trying them side by side. But now it's time to go on to the Mounds Bar. And again, the difference here primarily will be the fact that it has dark chocolate as opposed to just the regular milk chocolate. So that'll affect the taste to begin with, but I have found that even though American chocolates do tend to taste a bit off at times, again, if, you're, uh, if you pay attention to the flavors, dark chocolate as a whole seems to be fairly consistent. So yeah, I'm, I'm again, especially since the mounds are just uh, coconut, much like the bounty bars, interested to see how this one stacks up. So. Let's give it a try. Okay, so the first thing to see here is that yes, there, there is a noticeable difference in the amount offered, but Bounty still has the upper hand as far as the amount of coconut offered in each bar. Now, I will say that what I was talking about earlier as far as American like uh, use of coconut tends to be almost nougaty. That is what I would say is more at play here. It wasn't as noticeable in the Almond Joy because there's less of the coconut. But um, the coconut in the, in the Mounds Bar does taste a bit more, and I apologize because I know some people hate this word, but it tastes more uh, moist almost. But at the same time, somehow it feels, or even tastes a bit more, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Processed, essentially. It doesn't taste as natural. It's like you don't get as much of the coconut flavor. And I don't know if that's because of the coconut itself, the way that they made it, or the fact that the dark chocolate is rather overpowering as far as the two uh, tastes going together. I, uh, to be honest, I do wish that there was a version of Mounds that was just milk chocolate to go with the coconuts, because I feel like that would be a more accurate comparison between these two bars, the Almond Joy and the Mounds, versus the Bounty Bar. Overall, I would say all of them are quite good. Uh, to scale them, as far as my opinion goes, though, I would say uh, the Bounty Bar is definitely number one. In my opinion, just the creaminess of the chocolate, the texture and everything about the coconut and the flavor, it just all works really, really well. And again, even though this is supposedly a bit older <laughs> than it's supposed to be, the, uh, yeah, the bar just comes out on top in my opinion. Then between Almond Joy and Mounds, I would personally say that Almond Joy would be number two on the list. Um, I, again, I would prefer if they had a version without the almonds, just something more of a bounty with milk chocolate. Or I mean, mounds without... <laughs> mounds with milk chocolate. I'm getting all the names mixed up. But as a whole, I feel like it is a more consistent uh, taste and uh, something that compares better to the Bounty Bar even though you do get the almonds, which isn't a bad thing. And then at the bottom, I wouldn't say it's the worst, but of the three, I mean, it's on the bottom of the list. I just feel like the dark chocolate in this overpowers their coconut a bit too much. Like the coconut flavor just, either it's not as strong due to the processing that takes place, or just the dark chocolate they use actually is that overpowering and then it kills the coconut flavor. So yeah, that's my opinion as far as these go. Uh, everyone, if you have tried, well, any of these bars, especially if you've tried the Bounty Bars, I am curious as to what your opinion would be uh, as far as ranking all three of these, or if you do know of like an American version that's like the Almond Joy but without the almonds, let me know because I would be really interested to compare that to the Bounty Bar just to see what it could be like. Um, or see if the, what we would have here in America compares at all. So yeah, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. I love these snacking episodes, especially whenever it comes to getting to taste a little bit of uh, yummy British stuff. 
Speaking of which, it's been a long time since I've had any Jelly Babies or Jaffa Cakes or anything like that. I might have to go and order some off of Amazon. <laughs> but yeah, this was a lot of fun. And again, if any of you have recommendations as to what you would like to see me try sometime in an episode of Snackin', or if you would like to send me anything, um, you know, I try to find a bunch of different things as I'm able to as I go to different stores. Most of the stuff I'm going to run into is primarily American stuff, or if it is a bit different, usually just localized kind of things. So if there's anything that you would like to send, there is a uh, mailing address in the description down below that you can send that to. But again, if you have any uh, questions, comments, or recommendations as to what you would like me to try, please let me know in the comments down below. So until next time, everyone, I am Papa Ken, and Bounty comes on top. Later!